Welcome back to the Indie File Cases, or Indie Case Files, whichever one you want to call it. Our first game today is Kamikaze Veggies. Let's see what this is all about. Thousands of years after the extinction of human civilization on planet Earth, the greenhouse effect has wreaked havoc, causing vegetables to become the dominant species. Unfortunately, their everyday life is a struggle to survive. High temperatures have depleted the lands, causing hunger and disease. The sun's rays have made many vegetables go crazy, some of them have completely changed their personalities, becoming dangerous to others. Joseph Pomodorov became one such vegetable. He used to be a good tomato. He loved Carrot Marx's philosophy, was well-liked and respected. But the sun's rays turned him into a monster. He has manipulated red vegetables with his hatred of others, blaming the disaster on vegetables with different colored skin. He commissioned scientists to create a cruel variety of GMO pepper and began to conquer the world. In a short time, he has taken over the world in a brutal and cruel way. The oppressed vegetables have formed an underground organization in which the boldest, strongest, and craziest vegetables are selected. They are trained for secret subversive missions, and their battalion has become famous under the name Kamikaze Veggie. Well, that was what, not what I was expecting. See, Tutorial Island, today your soldier's goal is to become a soldier. Okay. Follow the blackboards and try to get to the top of Training Hill. There's a helicopter waiting for you. All right, rookies. Time to prove that you're good for more than Caesar salad. Here's a mission that will prepare you for real war. Today, we will test your stealth skills. We'll check how you deal with throwing a grenade. And most important, we will see if you are ready for this sacrifice. If you prove your worth, you will become a new member of Kamikaze Veggies. Those who don't make it to the hill of the island can go back to mommy. Understood? Alrighty then. Carrot disguised as Pepper is Steve. Steve is a trainer who will who will imitate the behavior of the enemies on the field. duck run or die running is essential to survival all right so what's the run button all right that's the run button let's see now Grenade throwing. They don't really tell you the controls. Explosives. 
Oh, I have to pick one up each? Okay. Wow, the controls are... Okay, so I need to get more. It's a little funky to control. You gotta, gotta get used to it. Got it. Alrighty. Valuable treasure. Got it. I'll take that. Flag point. User manual. Hours now. Sacrifice lesson. Obstacle blinking red. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the sign that can only be destroyed with a powerful kamikaze blast. Let me make like a little hissing sound. Hi. Um. Soldier, thank you for your sacrifice. Oh, that's dark. You can actually see the body. I thought maybe I could pick it up. Oh wait, there was gold there! Pocket Rocket Island. Fight your way through the fortifications, solve the puzzle, and destroy the rocket launcher hidden behind them. Okay. Garadetto! 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 Welcome to the Kamikaze Veggies Battalion. You've been vegetating your whole life for this special moment. We are heading to Pocket Rocket Island, one of the many Pomodoro residences. Your task is to destroy the rocket hidden by the statue of this vain tomato. This ballistic missile is a hellish masterpiece of totalitarian engineers. We have to destroy it before it destroys us. And one more thing. Don't forget to say your prayers, ladies. Understood? When melee trooper notices you, he will start to chase that. Can only be in. You know, he will try to chase that. Can only be interrupted by your death or a successful hiding. All right, so there he is. Can I duck? No, I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. I don't have any kind of gun. Huh. Let's try getting him to chase. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, he went back. I do like how it looks. It has a very unique look to it. I see gold. Hey, buddy, can you swim? Can we swim? Yeah, it has a very unique look to it. There we go. I'm sure they won't mind. I guess we're going to... Uh, Blow ourselves up here. 
Hey, buddy. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Three, two, boom. Where'd you get the bones? Thank you for your sacrifice. We really should have guns. So this can look like it's play it can be played multiplayer too. Or like co-op. Let's see. Landmine. An explosive weapon extremely effective against infantry units. You can install them at a short j distance from you. Alrighty. Nope. Oh well this thing. Can I turn that off? Is there no way to turn this off? Soldier, thank you for your sacrifice. That seems like that's a little counterproductive that you can't turn that off, but okay. Be nice to be able to have a button to turn that off. Bud. How well can you see? Not very well. Find a way across the fortification. You like that? Pretty sure that worked. See, clever bastards. They are responsible for all the enemy machinery. They are not dangerous in themselves, but they can be a bit annoying. Oh, I'm gonna blow you guys up. And myself, too. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again with less failure. Hey, I was able to make more carrots that time. Can I skip this? Welcome to the Kamikaze oh, Veggies Battalion. Okay, cool. I lost my, my gold, too. I'm gonna go get it. So this is a cute little game. I am curious about the, the uh, co-op for it. Like, I guess I am very, very curious, actually. If you play the story mode together or what. I may have to look at that in the future. Hey, buddy. Hi. Boom goes the dynamite. Just like that. Honor and glory to the heroes. Alright, let's try this again without failure. Oh, he's so derpy. He's so derpy looking. Oh, right. Come here, buddy. You want to see that nice shiny thing right here? Like that. Oh, thank you. Is there a shiny over there? No. Okay. Uh. Okay, there we go. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through.
I can actually blow up their base. Cool, you can go hiding in here. Never mind! They're not dangerous, they're just annoying. I have to remember that. You guys get off my back. I'm trying to do this here. Excuse me, that's very rude of you, you know. You could at least help me push this. Get out of my way. You're very good tacticians. Destroy the rocket launcher. How do I destroy the rocket launcher? Oh. You mean like this? Bye, guys! a few less technicians in the world. I did not do bad at all. So yeah, this is a cute little puzzle game. Silly graphics and everything. But we'll look at the last cutscene and then I'm going to move on to the next game since we're running out of time here. Drilled a rip Paligo. Bra Brad Pease. PP plat plan Landstorms. In this assault action, you drop small green mines that will explode one after another, creating an explosive domino effect. Don't pee out of fear. Aw. So let's see. Pee -pee. Pee -pee. Let's see what the cutscene is. All right, you cabbage heads. Do you know what blows in the veins of the enemy? It's GM oil. Communists extracted from the islands of the ancient archipelago. They built an oil rig that pollutes everything for miles around. We have to end this. Destroying the main drill will make hostile actions much more difficult and will make everyone hear about us. It's time to make a mess of this whole damn factory. Is that clear? Sure. So with that, guys, we're going to move on to the next game. But this is very, very cute. See you guys in just a moment. <laughs> it's too small that the game took it personally. It's loud. Okay. I'll try to fix that. Sorry. Give me a minute. I'm gonna fix that on my end. I'm sorry. I can't hear it like you guys can. Is that better? I can turn it up a little if I need to. Here, is that okay? It's at 50%. That's good? Okay. So, our next game today is Mira's Brush. I'm probably just going to make a whole new thing. Oh, um... Oh! Uh... Anon. Hi everyone, it's not often I get to come on. Press any key. You called, Empress? What is Morning brought, the Empress would like to know how the new rainbow water slides are coming. You mean the ones for the orphanage? <laughs> yes, for the free hot dog. What? Great, Garius grapes. Garius grapes. Uh, the loading entrance is the... <laughs> okay, you can go on in zone. Wait, are those fish? Let's not think about it too much. I mean, shouldn't they be drowning or flapping or something? Flopping or something? 
I claim my rightful place on the throne. Uh, this throne? The m it's m it's more of a cor ceremonial position. We're a constitutional monarchy in name only. Shush. Consider us more of a non hierarchical hi that word plur plurality. It is really hard to do these big words in this voice. I'm telling you, with each region represented in constitutional rota. Then a bi-weekly silence. Uncooperative. Fine then, Camilla. Mr. Ross, time for your happy little brush. Hi, friends. Let's express ourselves here. What have you done? We needed those. You have one week to secede your throne to me, or you lose your precious crystal forever. Scurrilous fiend. All work here is done. Leo, ready the Van Gogh. Ah, the Van Gogh. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Si, empresario. Farewell, fools. Well, now that's just hurtful. Okay, so what do we do? Alright, that's my cue. Oh, this is, this is full-on fourth wally. I like how we're moving this along. The Empress would like to know, uh, who, uh, are you? <laughs> the name's Mira. I'm here to help. <laughs> help? How? Here, take my card. Mira's paint all it is- Whoa! Fish repair. Fish repair. Horse whisperer. Cat shouter. Disgrace doctor. <laughs> Painter. <laughs> I- I jump. I'm fully bonded, and I come with my own magical brush. It won't be easy. Colonel Blump has an impos implausibly large army. Eagles, fire monsters, mutant frogs, evil pizzas, Ernest Borgnine. Ernest Borgnine? You'll need a lot of rainbow power found throughout the cro chromalon. Ernest Borgnine. You'll have to color in our last rainbow bridges. To go with statues and other great stuff to to proceed. Can you pay union rates? What? Not exactly. But pretty much all our monsters are full of bursting with bonus tickets. And we and we make a killer cheese plate. Oh, I love tickets. Let's do it. Great. Mind if we teleport you to Tutorial Land first? We really don't understand how your abilities work. I don't think I need to. Tutorial land ahoy! Good luck not dying in the tutorial. Hey, and don't hey. forget, we need your help, Mira. You're our only hope. And all that jazz, I have to say. Oh, I'm sorry, Zero. I announced it. I guess I guess some of it got missed. Jesus, she just goes flying! Yeah, she goes flying. Wow. She is a very floaty girl. She a floater. She's a little floaty. I will say that is definitely an issue I'm gonna have with this game. It is very floaty. I think they're trying to go for the old school feeling. Right out. Painties are harmless. Wee! Ride him, cowboy! Yahoo! What? I'm a duck. A quack, a quack. Why am I a duck? Duck Mira is nearly invincible and can bounce off certain enemies. Oh, 
Oh, I'll be right back really quick, guys. Sorry about this. Neat. How do I get it to go back there? There we go. Mira can't swim. Okay. Well, Mira can die. Oh. Oh dear. Whoop. Give me your thing. Give me your color. I'll make good use of it. Oh, that is neat. That is a nice mechanic. Other than the floatiness. Oh god. No! It's a killer pineco. Big thing is, she is incredibly floaty. And it, it does make it really hard to play this game. But I'm trying. It's just, I wish she wasn't as floaty. I feel like that's something that could easily be fixed, obviously. Mira can't steal and jump at the same time. Oh right, she can jump on certain enemies of the duck. Or die. Oh, I see. Okay, neat. The rules can change at any time. Uh, that's a neat mechanic. Oh! Oh, that floatiness. That floatiness, though. Mmm, that floatiness. It really is kind of a hindrance. Oof! You go flying! Yeah, you do. Gotta be really careful with that. There we go. So yeah, if this if they fix the floatiness, I think this game would be a, a heck of a lot better. Uh, was that the ocean up there? Interesting concept, but like I said, the floatiness is kind of killing it. So I am gonna move on to the next game. Because I, I can't, I'm sorry, the floatiness is really killing the game for me. It is, again, a really good game that just needs a little bit of updating. <laughs> 